Good morning. If you've liked this video so far, please smash that like button. One million likes or I'll kill myself. I'm not, I'm not above asking for likes at the beginning. If you're consistent on my channel, you know I spend a lot of time running around, vlogging, and skateboarding. I'm also really passionate about growing and improving. In this older video that I made called My Biggest Sacrifice, I end with three sayings. Utilize your talents, make sacrifices, progress daily. Daily vlogging has been an accumulation of my talents. Filming, editing, skateboarding, storytelling, and I've worked my arse off for it. I moved to Cincinnati for it. I moved back to California for it. Hence, making sacrifices and utilizing my talents. And of course, progressing daily comes with the other two. Recently, I got a comment in a video asking me if I felt like I was living some sort of loop sometimes. Like, like kind of like a groundhog day where the days start to kind of repeat themselves and blend together. And the answer is yes to an extent. When I moved to Cincinnati, I was so passionate about vlogging that I actually started to live my life for the vlog instead of vlogging my life. And I've sort of been doing that ever since. I moved back to California in hopes of sort of escaping that loop because there's so much to do here and there's so much that I wanted to accomplish that I was like, I can just film my day to day and it'll be way more interesting than all the Cincinnati vlogs. But the thing is I didn't have a, a, a fun, crazy thumbnail or title for these videos. They were just how my days were and it wasn't attracting a newer audience and I would get sort of panicky when I see the views go down and then of course thrown right back into the loop I would start to try to just make videos that would get more people to see them. Since Cincinnati I've been spending about 90% of the time that I'm awake focused on YouTube whether it be filming editing or coming up with concepts and I'm not saying that I'm struggling or woe is me that this is painful I just don't have much time to pursue other things at all or explore any other options so I'm coming up with a solution and moving forward it's weird because recently I've realized I I'm not just a good skateboarder I'm good with people and that's so weird for me to say because I've had social anxiety horrible social anxiety most of my life and three years ago I would have never pictured myself to be able to go to an event like like this. This is almost a slice of party. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bobby So Rich Muscles. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, boy! That's my dog, subscribe. So much. I told him. Zero for sale, y'all. I'm getting wasted So that was last night. I can actually have conversations now with people and be more interested in what they're talking about than what they think of me. And I know that's so lame, but me as a kid, I was so concerned and I would just constantly think about what people were looking at me and judging and thinking. And I've met people recently that have just inspired me so much to network and seeing all these opportunities and people utilizing like these little things and building great things out of them. It's just inspired the crap out of me lately to, uh, to grow more. You! The weird thing is I want to make videos more than ever right now. I'm just not going to be doing vlogs every single day starting 2017. I used to consider myself a skateboarder and that's it. Now, I consider myself a skateboarder, 
entrepreneur-esque type person and a content creator slash influencer. And that's amazing. That's super cool to think that I have found these new talents that I'm excited about, but it doesn't have to stop there. I'm going to constantly keep exploring and finding new things that I'm good at. I just can't do that if I'm spending 24 seven all day every day creating content. When 2017 hits, I will be focusing on relationships. Yes, me out of all people, I will be branching out, finding people who I think have great minds and trying to work with them and network, even outside of the skateboarding realm, which obviously I'll still be networking and working with people in skateboarding. But I feel like now I actually have something to offer people and I'm super okay with being in extremely uncomfortable situations with people who I might not know that well, with groups of people who I might not know well, and just doing things that have always scared me because now I can. To summarize, in 2017, all the content I will be creating for my channel will be my favorite. It will be, in my opinion, what the best is. And if I can do that daily, if I have, if I'm on a trip and every single day seems interesting and exciting, then I will vlog every single day on that trip. But if not, I won't. I'm only going to put out content that I'm excited to put out for people to see. And skateboarding will always live on my channel. I'm still just as passionate about that. I will always film that. It will be just as much, if not more. I, I just want filmmakers to see my channel and think, wow, this dude is really good at that. And then be shocked by being like, whoa, he also skates and does tricks and cool. My additional time and focus will be spent on my clothing line, Progress Daily, traveling the world, music, and building relationships. Also, if there is a day that I don't vlog, I will be heavy on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So keep up with that as well. I'm trying to make those three also pop, 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 and update as consistent. It's funny, what if I just end up vlogging on those as much as I vlog on my YouTube channel? I won't because it's more in the moment. But trust me, follow those outlets if you wanna see constant, consistent things. And thanks to everyone who has shown any support for my channel. I promise you're gonna keep getting consistent videos, just not vlogs every single day. Seriously can't wait for the next adventure. I'm so unbelievably excited. Even 2017 starts off with a bang. I'm knocking off a bucket list item starting off and throughout the year it's gonna be like, da -da -da, just all these things that I've always wanted to do. I, I've like literally already lined up so many things I can't, I cannot wait and I can't wait to share it with you guys as well. So love you guys like crazy, progress daily, keep killing it.